Hey guys, welcome back. So this year, OnePlus is gonna push the limits with its ultra premium smartphone, the OnePlus 10 Ultra. Report says that this device is already in the testing phase and will be one of the first to come with the Snapdragon 8 Gen OnePlus. Yes guys, OnePlus is about to enter the ultra flagship market to compete against the smartphone giants Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and Apple's iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now before we jump into the video, I wanna say that if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video so according to chat station from china he says oneplus is testing a premium device named oneplus 10 pro plus aka oneplus 10 ultra where this smartphone will come with the next gen cpu from qualcomm which is the snapdragon 8 gen oneplus qualcomm will announce this cpu as early as this year around in the month of may or june there's no shocker the dimensity 9000 is giving better performance than the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 by using less power. In fact, when it comes to multi-core performance, Dimensity 9000 is offering very close results to Apple's A15 Bionic chip. So this is why Qualcomm will be using TSMC's 5 nanometer or 4 nanometer fabrication, which is very much stable and better in heat management. So no doubt, the next-gen Qualcomm chipset will have better thermals and stable performance, where in gaming, we might see consistent frame rates in high-end gaming as well. Now some news on a mid-range phone, OnePlus is working on a new device, the OnePlus Nord 3, which will bring crazy amount of charging speeds. This new OnePlus phone will be powered by 4500mAh dual cell battery and huge 150W fast charging speed, which can charge 0-50% to in 5 minutes and 0-100% to in just 15 minutes, which is pretty insane for an entry-level flagship killer smartphone because this device will have have Dimensity 8100 CPU as well. Now OnePlus may use the 80W fast charging or the same 150W fast charging with a dual cell 5000mAh battery for the OnePlus 10 Ultra. But it is not confirmed which one will be finalized and in my opinion both are awesome. If they use 150W fast charging then this device will destroy all the other ultra flagships in terms of charging speed. Moving on, OnePlus is also working with Google to implement the dynamic theme support in the Oxygen OS 13. OnePlus do confirm that they had some issues with the Oxygen OS 12 and because of this they had to delay the updates on many smartphones and even they had to delay the launch of the devices as well. But now with the Oxygen OS 13 OnePlus will bring back the stock Android like user interface where some rumor says that OnePlus 10 Ultra will be the first OnePlus phone to come with the latest software. Means Oxygen OS 13 based on Android 13 out of the box. So that is it in this video guys, do let me know your thoughts on the OnePlus 10 Ultra in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one, till then, peace out.